This guy is a douche. He's an ancient Egyptian. No, he's not even. even he's not even Egyptian. It's even worse. He's not even Egyptian. He's fake Egyptian. How do you take this guy out? Pull the lever! If you would just pull the lever, maybe you would be able to kill him! Too busy fighting zombie dad to drink water. <laughs> even better. These sentences just keep getting better. Too busy fighting, fighting zombie dad. Too busy to drink water. The worst of the worst of fake Egyptian... WRONG LEVER! <clears throat> this guy will not die. Shark, help! There are no sharks in the desert. Man. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. Can Jake Gyllenhaal do that? Sand sharks. Okay, you have a point there, actually. If only shouting guy was here. Take him out. Come on. Shoot him with the arrows. Shoot him with the arrows, Farrah. Farrah, shoot him with your beautiful arrows from your beautiful... Ow, she shot me! She shot me! Use shout. Be voiced by Nolan North. It's the only way to win. She shot me. What a bitch. Exactly. Just a sec. Wait, my zombie dad. Shoot zombie dad. Help me. Sh shoot zombie dad. I'll shoot. I'll help you if you shoot zombie dad. LK got penetrated by the princess. I wish. Actually, I don't really wish. Let me up. Jesus. Ow, my face. There's no way you can lose as Nolan North. There we go. I can speed up the... There we go. Get the hell up. Get up. He died still. Get up, mate. No. That was rubbish. Zombie Dad is the Johnny Cash of this game. <laughs> She has strap on arrows. Now I have this image of Farah shooting these giant purple rubbery dildos. She can only hit your father. Fan art time. That's his, that's his sad face. It's not very sad, to be honest. Okay, now get my sword out. His sad face isn't very sad. Ah, now I remember what I was going to talk about. Speaking of sad facing, Grave of the Fireflies. I've seen a bunch of you guys talking about Grave of the Fireflies in the chat. Grave of the Fireflies is one of those movies that it depends on, you know, what kind of person you are. But if you're the kind of person that I am, it will break your heart in two and make you less of a man. It is an amazing movie. And here's the thing, right? There are people who say, like, I, I didn't find that movie sad, I just found it boring. And I tell, I always tell them, you do know that it's a true story, right? And it is a true story in a way, but the actual story is a lot sadder in a way, because and, and when I say this, you're going to think, well, no, it's not. But it is sadder, because um, crying doesn't make you less of a man. No, but it does make you very wet. How could LK be less of a man? By crying at an anime cartoon, for one. But, uh... How do you kill this guy? Seriously. This is rubbish. But, it's a true story is Grave of the Fireflies. But, in the, in the actual events... In the actual event that happened... The actual story, the, the real life thing... Only one of the kids died. And that... And I know you're gonna say, like... Well, that's not as sad as both kids dying. But, at the end of the day... That means that one person had to live with the fact that the other one died. Ah. Try to reason with your father. Look, I don't have high enough charisma points to do that. Little Karibo is indeed the manliest man who ever manned. Oh, you said lived. Manned would have been better. <laughs> what is this nonsense? Maybe if I slow time down. I can't slow time down. Damn it. Ah. This lady has no girl power. Bullshit. Farah has all the girl power. Shout Man can kill this guy. I like that he's called Shout Man. That's his name, Shout. He sounds like a Mega Man villain. If you would just pull the lever, super fighting robots, Mega Man. Shout Man. There's no way to kill this guy. I can't kill him. When was Grave of the Fireflies released? I'm pretty sure in the 80s. 
Seriously, does anybody know how to kill this guy? Because it seems to be, like, connected to Faris somehow. But she's not doing what I ask her to do. You have to kill all the others first. But that's not what they told me before. They told me that if I if I kept attacking them, they'd keep respawning. You guys lied. Somebody lied to me, and I want to know who. Keep calm and pull the lever. That's good advice in any situation. Somebody lied to me. I want to find out who it was. I, I demand a witch hunt. The person with the face lied. X, you lied to me. Turn the game off, instant win. Yeah, this is true. But X, we're going to Alcon in, in a week. And I'm going to get my revenge for your lying to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to try and do another Inception on you, X. Even though you won't be sleeping in the same room as me. There we go. Yeah. I cried during Watership Down. What movies have I cried at? I cry at uh, Dancer in the Dark with Bjork, which is one of the best acting performances of fuck. That didn't happen. Yes, it did happen. She was a great actress. Bjork was in one movie called Dancer in the Dark, and right, she hated the experience so much that she didn't want to be in another movie. But it was one of the best acting performances of all time. The best acting performance of fuck. The best acting performance of fuck. That movie was crazy. I do cry at Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo is extremely sad. I haven't seen Up yet. You know, that, that's something that should make you guys cry, is the fact that I haven't seen Up yet. So I hear, I hear that that makes a lot of people cry. Lion King. I don't cry at Lion King. I, I don't think I've ever cried at Lion King. I think I've just been deceived. Because I used to be the kind of guy who would, like, not cry at movies. And when I saw Lion King originally, I was just like, I'm not crying at this, because that makes me a sissy. So I've just sort of become desensitized, desensitized to it. But these days, I will cry at anything at the drop of a hat. I cry at... Uh, what do I cry at? I cry at the Iron Giant. The Iron Giant. Does anybody not cry at the Iron Giant? If they say yes, they're lying. Mononoke Hime. Well, what's sad about Mononoke Hime? What happens in Mononoke Hime that, that makes you cry? What that? Spirit Away, actually, uh, I, I found that I, that was very moving. I didn't cry at it, though. The Wolf Mother dies. I completely forgot about that. But I, I didn't find it that sad because I didn't really know the character that well. Help just me. shows up, you know? She's just kind of there. I mean, maybe that's a controversial opinion, but she doesn't really do anything. I cried at the end of the <laughs> You cried at the end of the omen where you found out they can't kill Satan. It's true, they can't you can't kill Satan. I'm killing people. Let's see if I can actually pull this off. I don't think I can pull this off, you know. But I'm doing my best. I'm just going to keep attacking them until somebody tells me to stop attacking them. I hate Twilight with a passion. What? what, what? Where did that come from? Where did I hate Twilight come from? We're talking about movies that make us cry. Does Twilight make somebody cry? There we go. No. Ow. Right in the face. Right in the face. Right in the face. Right in the fuck. I cried when Shoutman died. The omen should have ended with you can't kill Satan and Samuel L. Jackson walks in going unless you join the Avengers. Exactly. The Pokemon movie. See, I, I, w I didn't get into Pokemon. Well, I, I didn't get hardcore into Pokemon. I, didn't, I never got hardcore into Pokemon, to be honest. Fuck, they're killing me. When Bakura sang Stand By Me. Do pe now, I've actually had people tell me that I've made them cry in Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. Uh, people said that the bit with Serenity saving Joey made them cry in Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged, of all things. And people said that when Bakura and Marek died, well, that didn't die, but they got taken out at the end of the season, they said that made them cry. Which surprised me, but I mean, I know some people are more prone to being, you know, affected by things like that. Some people have, are more in touch with their emotional side than others. And there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. 
This fucking game. How do you do this? Somebody help. Shark help. Doctor Who series 4 finale made me cry. Ah. Fucking... The lack of new episodes makes me cry. Oh, don't start with that. Somebody game FAQs this nonsense. That guy's falling in slow motion. Bollocks. Use the boost to get through when Bubba dies. What are we talking about? Who's Bubba? What are we talking about now? Oh, we're talking about... Wait, no. Forrest Gump? Forrest Gump made me cry at the end. Where he's talking to his wife's grave. That was sad. I cried at the end of that movie. Uh, ow. Fuck. I think, I've, I think I've taken them all out. Because look, there's only two people left. I think we're going to do it. Guys. I think we're going to pull it off. No more game FAQs. I don't need them. I don't need them. Take this guy out. Come on, take him out. Shoot him. Shoot him in the face. Take him out. Yes! Shaman believed in me and I believe in the me. Believe in the me who believes in the you who believes in pulling the levers! Excuse me, Dad. You're going down. Oh, 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 why am I singing that? Fuck. Okay. Moan at him. Okay. <laughs> Bitch. So, X the Dark One, how is progress going on episode whatever of Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, episode 13 of Yu-Gi-Oh GX Abridged. This is some, any games that make you cry, LK. Uh, Professor Layton usually accomplishes it. I cried at the end of Majora's Mask, which is why it's like my favorite Zelda game. Because I cried hardcore at the end of that. Very random one to cry at, I will, I will admit. Well, not random, because it was a sad ending, but... Hey, L LK, hey, X, where's the new episode? That's not what I said. Ghost Trick, yes. Ghost Trick was an emotional game. Ghost Trick was a great game. If you guys haven't played Ghost Trick for the DS, go out and play it, because it's one of the best... It's probably the best DS game to come out in the last year. I'm starting to get some lag here. Oh, fuck. I'm not spoiling anything about Ghost Trick. It's really good, though. That's the only spoiler I'll give you, is that it's fantastic. And now my dad is going to get stabbed in the back by me. There we go. Now we get to hang out with the beautiful Rainstone. What's Rainstone saying? I wanted to cosplay as Marek, but I'm not tan enough. I would cosplay as Marek if I was halfway skinny or could even come close to pulling that off. Because that would be fun to actually cosplay as Marek. Wait, what's wrong? What's he done? Farah's like, oh. Well, he was really intent on jumping into that thing. He was like, I'm just gonna run over here for no reason. Oh, yep. Yes, I will save. Done. Done. I'll start the story. That is not what Sharp Man would do. Everyone wants to see LK's midriff. I will tell you, I actually, uh, I took my shirt off at the 18 plus panel at Manifest and so, it was not pretty. This is the thanks I get for saving your life. You don't understand. <laughs> She's so pretty. LK has no midriff. No, I do have a midriff. I just have too much midriff. Money for Marek at Desert Bus. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, I can't actually go to Desert Bus this year. The chub going on was in Curb's pants. Am I right? Curb wasn't there. She's gorgeous. She looks like she's got nose coming out of her hair. Oh, no, it was the bang. It is in the Sultan's treasure vault, atop the Tower of Dawn. It's in my bank in my vagina. That girl is not Marek, but she is gorgeous. She is good looking, Lufe. I thank you I thank you for asking. She's a, she could be a Shizu, because is Shizu is gorgeous. If Shizu is gorgeous, Farah is gorgeous, Jasmine is gorgeous. This is true. This is all true. Beautiful woman. And they almost have sex, and I think they do have sex, dude. 
Hey, Tadashi. 